this unfortunate news here courtesy of ra it says uk festival high rise has been cancelled after a sexual assault emerge against the founder why does this always seem to happen man there is something about electronic music dance music rave culture club nights um festival scenes that seem to attract these sussy characters in it so for instance he's probably done loads of good loads of good by providing this platform providing a space for people to perform providing a space for people to go and dance have a good time let their hair down local community stuff blah 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 but then in the background all this sussy shit is happening all this sexual assault allegation stuff is brewing in the back all of this stuff is happening that most likely people within the inner circles who work there probably had an inkling because it always like that it's never something out of the blue it's always like oh yeah this guy always gave me the creeps this guy was always like that da, 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 da. it's never a surprise which is really the side part about these sort of stories it's never like oh my god i can't believe he or she did that it's always a yeah that was bound to happen you know what i mean kind of thing which is make which is super super upsetting and the obviously the people that hurt the most off the back of this are the performers especially the people who maybe didn't have that many gigs on their fucking calendar for the summer this is their one big gig they've got um the one big opportunity they've got to flip in you know make some money to maybe get some exposure and then the fucking founder gets caught you know doing some madness and then now the whole festival is done for absolutely madness man so let's um continue here it says uk festival high rise has been cancelled after allegations of sexual assault emerged involving its organizer guy hughes unfortunate unfortunate anyone with two first names anyway it's always sounding a bit sussy you know what i mean when you have two first names it always sounds a bit weird resident advisor has confirmation that the september festival is no longer going ahead artists included irritation steppers um abashanti channel one sound system um started dropping out early this week ticket holders also began to demand refunds after seeing hughes's instagram post in response to the allegations which were circulating online but have since been deleted oh, i wish i could see it man it says in the post, which has also been taken down, Hughes said that there'd been a lot, there'd been a lot of exasperating rumors around um, and virtue signaling. Yo, imagine being assaulted. Imagine being accused, sorry, of sexual assault and you come out saying there's been a lot of rumors going around and virtue signaling. First of all, attack the fucking allegations attack the allegations head on i've always said like those type of things you don't play 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 with you don't do semantic games you don't try and troll back if you legitimately think you're innocent you have to attack that shit head on like attack it head on and if in this case if you're a leader and you're doing this fucking festival what you do is that you say hey i'm taking these allegations really seriously but for the betterment of the festival and to make sure that i can you know provide this space for these artists to perform and obviously a festival for my customers and partners to go to i'm going to step aside from future goings on for the festival and let so and so manage it i have no involvement and i'll deal with this issue and make sure it comes to a conclusion whatever it may be right but remove yourself and say that you're addressing it so that the festival can continue, people can get paid, everyone can have a good time with the knowledge that they're not supporting somebody that's been accused of sexual assault. You know what I mean? That should be the good way to kind of lead, right, in that respect. Not fucking trying to troll back and stuff. Like, that's mad. It says here, I made a mistake and want to hold myself accountable for misjudging a matter of consent with my partner at the time. I believe what... I believe that when you're in a long-term relationship, consent can become a gray area. No, it's not. Yo, yo, this sounds like Chris D'Elia, mate. This, this sounds like Chris D'Elia. This is not a red flag. This is a fucking red fucking, what you call it? Um, Mexican wave or whatever in a fucking stadium. This is crazy. Long-term relationship, consent can become a gray area. And as a society, we need to have more open conversation. Fuck off. Imagine getting accused of fucking sexual assault and now you're trying to give me, as a society, comments. We don't need to have a wider conversation. I don't have to have a wider conversation because I'm not out here fucking assaulting anybody. I'm not out here diddling anybody. I'm not out here doing anything to no one. I'm, I'm minding my business. So you need to have your conversation with yourself, my guy. What the fuck is this guy talking about? holy smokes among the acts to pull out this week um were bristol crew worm disco club who issued a statement yesterday said to due a lack of action from the director of high-rise festival and subsequent censoring of comments regarding allegations of sexual assault we have decided to pull out okay cool so it looks like they were giving him a chance 
to fucking, you know, get it right. They're looking for a chance so they can continue doing it because clearly if it's just one person being as bad as it is and no one wants to fucking support abusers, assaulters, rapers, diddlers, no one wants to abuse or uh, support them. But if it's just one person being accused of that thing, there is a situation or scenario where you can put that person to one side, let them deal with their madness. If it eventually comes to pass that they're guilty, kick them out of it, pass it off to good hands and then continue rolling on. That's what should be happening. That's why I was surprised that when Crossbreed, that King Party, went down because the founder got accused of madness as well. I would assume because Crossbreed's brand was so strong and heavy, and to be honest, even though Kiwi is a big part of Crossbreed, it was kind of a thing that exists on its own. It didn't really need, you know, it didn't really kind of, it wasn't really something that was, you know, was intrinsically tied to him. They could have easily reinvented it and kind of had it just live, live on its own. Which, while surprised, they completely just killed the whole thing after he got accused of what he got accused of. Maybe the momentum when, maybe as well, you have to also consider, which I didn't think of, maybe a lot of the people who are involved with that thing, with that collective of people, maybe some of them are victims of assault and shit. So if you're a victim of assault and stuff, there is no real explanation that's ever going to make you cool with somebody that's been accused of it, right? You're never going to be cool. You're always going to be aware, a bit wary of them. You're always going to feel a bit uncomfortable. So maybe in that regard, just killing it and moving on is the best way to go about things. But I want to quickly check out their Instagram, actually, and see Wild Guan, because this should be interesting to see if they're still flipping, deleting comments and shit, because that's something they've been accused of. Because that's what happens all the time. People kind of do get caught in the madness and they'll end up just like turning off all the comments on all the fucking posts because they don't like hearing feedback. So let's see what happens here. So the first post, there's no comments enabled there. Second one, there's comments enabled and the third one there is. So let's see the second post because obviously they disabled comments on the other one. And let's see what people are saying there because this may give us an idea on what the current temperature is because this sounds weird because from the looks and the sounds of it, it's like one of his, form or his former partner accused the guy of something untoward and then i guess that got out and then i guess people didn't like his response <laughs> and the fact that he did what he did or is accused of and they decided to fucking jump so um but uh and i also like the fact that the customers are demanding refunds that's actually quite encouraging do you know what i mean that shows that there are fans out there that just can't they won't stand for shit like this like you know what fuck this um, give me a refund. I'm not supporting you. So this person says, I need my refund now. The link comments is, comments is censoring. Another one says, are you going to continue deacting comments? Six days ago. Consent is a great area. It's a long-term relationship. It's a red flag, this person says. High rise is shit. Just lock the festival off, you waste man. Okay, cool. Maybe I misread the situation. For the, for the most part, it looks like the fans were not having it. Because in my head, I'm thinking if this one person being accused of what they've been accused of, there is a scenario where you can maybe hand it over to somebody else while that person gets dealt with legally, in their own way, whatever on the side. But I guess the fans are like, nah, 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 nah. Where's the message about your ex and consent? You know, you know, festival locations can be such a great area. Hello, Oliver said. Um, what more comments here? Could you ping me to also, it says here, what happens? What's happening with our money? People don't want to give money to a rapist. Wow. So clearly people are pissed off and not liking it in the slightest. So um, yeah, it's been cancelled for now anyway. So it's not happening. And let's continue here. It says here earlier this week, um, Sanai Sound System and Channel One Sound System, who both issued non-expired statements via Instagram, um, now expired. What's another expired? Oh, I guess on Instagram stories. Um, also pulled out. Um, another artist who also cancelled spoke anonymously. Why are you going to speak anonymously about cancelling your appearance at a festival where the guy's been accused of rape? <laughs> Some people, just people in the scene are such pussies, man. Put your fucking name to it, man. Put a fucking name on it. Don't be scared. They said they'd heard about all this happening and a couple of months ago, there were rumours and speculation then. I wasn't going to pull out based on that, but then with a statement that was made, it confirms those rumours and statements. I can't condone that behaviour. I refuse to make money for a man who sexually assaults people. It ain't right. That's a fairly decent statement. Why wouldn't you want to put your name towards that? Strange. At the same time, ticket holders began demanding refunds. Ben France was one of them. I literally came back from Glastonbury and couldn't wait for high rise in September. That's until I saw his statement. But even before he made his statement, people were saying he should step down and address sexual assault allegations. Bro, this refund may fucking bankrupt him as well. That's a mad thing as well because some of these festivals are always running on a fucking, you know, they're running on a fucking tight string. You know what I mean? 
Like they're really, 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 really going right to the edge each festivals. And sometimes some of them aren't even breaking even. So if everyone demands refunds and there's no money coming in, that could spell the end. Um, he said, another person said here, saying it's all virtue signaling is, and the consent is a great area that women work at festivals to ensure safety and that he stopped drinking so others should too are obviously very inappropriate things to admit to. What? Saying it's all virtue signaling, that consent is a great area, that women work at festivals to ensure safety, and that he stopped drinking. <laughs> Yo, this guy sounds like a fucking psycho. Speaking to RA, Hugh said he now regrets what he wrote, and there are parts of that post that I regret or would reword. <laughs> you you think, you think so, Guy Jones, or Guy Greg, or whatever your fucking name is. What's his name? Two first names? Guy Hugh, sorry, Guy Jones, Guy Greg, Guy Gog. Um, it continues a comment left by high rise official facebook page confirmed the festival is currently processing refunds it was used to take place from september the 7th to 11th in huntington on the site famously used number festival secret garden party so yeah gr the great area is your festival is done for most likely you are done for and yeah man you could have done this you could have dealt with this in a far better way and still probably not had to fucking go bankrupt that's the crazy thing you could have obviously still had the mark of being a fucking abuser on your fucking name, which is never going to come off. Cool. But you could have handed over the reins to somebody whilst you're doing whatever you need to do on the side. And then that festival could have continued going on and whatnot. But then he decided to put out a really ill-timed, ill-advised fucking statement, riled everybody. And then the fans decided, you know what? We're not supporting you. Go Get fucked. And they would have funded refunds. And now he's out on his ass. So absolute tragic and again my thoughts and feelings mostly go out to the fucking artists because they're all probably banking on this festivals you know are a good platform for people to promote themselves get paid um and whatnot keep themselves busy especially during festival season if you're a proper artist probably a lot of you are feeling fomo from not being able to fucking perform in places you know some people performing and having gigs you're not it must feel a bit shitty so when you do get a gig it's probably so so gratifying and then to finally have that gig come around, you're feeling good about it. And then now it's not happening. It's absolute shame and really, really, really shame. I feel for everybody connected with it. Um, and yeah, man, I hope it kind of gets sorted out in a right manner sometime soon because it's not fair for the artists that they have to suffer. And you just wish one of these guys who gets accused of this stuff, who's like a head of a label, head of a festival or whatever, will just be sensible enough to kind of step to one side and say, you know what? I'm going to let this thing go on and I'm going to do what I want to do because I'm, I'm going to, you know, I don't want to hamper the people on the label's ability to make money or to share their fucking art. You'd hope that would happen. Just one time these guys would do that, but they don't. They just burn everything down. Everyone gets fucked over because of their supposed inability to discern what consent is, to keep their hands to themselves and all that fucking good stuff. It's really, really frustrating, man. It must be so annoying as an artist to see that sort of stuff happen. It must be so frustrating. You kind of want to work out, want to make sense of it. And here are these people just being absolute pieces of crap and not basically doing the right thing by you and kind of making it work in that regard. It's really, really flipping annoying. And I can't flipping help that. But hey, what can you do? Big up, hide F10. I just started running. What's your secret to being such a great athlete? Ah, <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> big up high <laughs> big up high death ten. Get fucked. But thank you for the five dollar super chat. <laughs> oh you guys, man. You guys are really, really mean. <laughs> That's basically it. You guys are really, really, really mean. Okay? Really mean. But um good luck with your running high def ten. You don't need any help from me because I'm not an athlete. But yeah, big up you and big up for the tease. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, man. I've got the meanest chat on the internet, I swear to God. I have the meanest chat on fucking YouTube, the meanest chat on social media, the meanest chat in podcasting worlds, the meanest chat ever. You guys do not let me live. You guys do not let me live.